bloody thing. See, I knew it'd be too big. Look, look, stick it in here. Then you can get some earth from the front garden. Anything else? Yeah, help me put the decorations up. Cheer up this horrible old flat. That's the spirit. Let's all be merry and bright. Well, I wouldn't mind if he didn't have two empty rooms on the first floor. Well, one of them's for that refugee kid they're bringing over from Cyprus. Well, that still leaves another empty one, doesn't it? I mean, what's the point of keeping rooms locked up when they could be earning extra rent? Mum, where's you on this tree? Unless, of course, he's got some secret purpose for keeping those doors locked. No, I know where the kids get it from. Well, then there's no reason why he shouldn't let us have the other empty one. All right, I'll have a word with Mr Gottlieb. Oh, forget him. It's his sister's got the soft spot on you. Frieda and I are beginning to get to know one another. Beginning? The amount of time you spend down in her room, how much more can there be of her to get to know? Mum, where do you want this tree? I can imagine what you two get up to. No, you can't. Oh, yes, I can. No, no, Poppy, please, don't move. Just stay still, OK? So when can I look at this work of art? Ah, when it's finished. It still feels a bit poncy having a portrait of myself for Christmas. Well, it'll save you commissioning a portrait when you become the Prime Minister. But a Christmas present is supposed to be a surprise. So this may be when you see it. <laughs> so you don't think it's worth talking to Eric about those empty rooms? No, you must make your mother understand how those rooms are symbolic for Eric, you know? He wanted this house to be a home for survivors. And frankly, if by some miracle any of our family had survived... Instead, all you got left is your friend's little lad. Yosela. Bless you. <laughs> no, no, that's his name. Poor kid. Look, I, I don't want to be a pain, but that still leaves one room empty. I, I'll talk to Eric, OK? Twenty-seventh of August, two pounds, seventeen and six, paid to Stecklin's Limited. Hang on, that rings a bell. Yes. Yeah, look, she's paid Stetlin's Fittings Limited 40 of the June. You're right, she must have paid it twice. Oh. Thanks very much. Uh, Kitty, love. Kitty, there's an account here that seems to have been paid twice. Who is it? Stecklin's. Oh, that's all right. They're straight. He'll give me a credit note. That's not the point. With respect, Mrs. Fisher, you can't expect your suppliers to do your bookkeeping for you. Of course not, Mr. Brandon. You're the expert. Look, I've got a rush. Ben's taking me to the office Christmas dance. It's the only time we get to go out with each other. It's all right, love. I'll lock up. Great. Do you want me to put the money in the night safe? No, it's all right. I prefer to bank it myself on Monday. You don't mean you leave money in the till over the weekend? No. I'll take it home with me. It's all right. <sighs> This is worse than one account being paid twice. Not one of these entries has a bill to go with it. Do you mind if I go now, Mrs Moon? Oh, no, it's all right, love. I'm locking up. What's in this book? Oh, that's a slate. You don't mean she gives credit? To regulars, yes. Yeah. But I have my wages, then. What hasn't Kitty paid you? Well, she usually leaves the wage packet in the till, but I'm not allowed to touch it. Of course, <sighs> sometimes she just forgets. How much? 27 and 6. Here you are. It's one... Oh, uh, no, no, that's all right. Oh, thanks, Mrs Moon. <laughs> Rita, it's the customers who are supposed to do the tipping. Oh, she's all right. She works hard. Not as hard as you're going to have to work. Oh, have I made a mistake? If I chuck my money down a plug hole? No, essentially, it could be a very nice little business, but these books are hopeless. Do you want another cup of tea? Please. Kitty's nice, though, isn't she? Mm hmm. She resents you bringing me here. I rather think she wanted you as a sleeping partner. What do you mean by that? Rita, a sleeping partner is someone who puts money into a business but doesn't take an active role. Oh, I see. Do you know, for a moment I thought you meant that she was, you know... Because I do say it takes one to know one. Oh, that's nice, isn't it? Yeah, lovely. And he was really posh and he had ever such good manners. So why haven't you seen him no more than this Tom? Because I thought me and Lou were still going strong. He invited me to his office Christmas party, you know. I didn't know Lou worked in an office. I'll give up on you sometimes. Tom's office party is in shipping. My cousin Arthur was evacuated to shipping. What are you talking about? Shipping Sodbury. <laughs> Long way to go for a party, though. No, Tom's in shipping. Never mind your Sodbury. You know, boats, ships, cargo. 
is company have to send ships all over the world. Oh, can I go to the party, Mags? I love sailors. I told you I'm not seeing Tom no more because of Lou. I thought Lou give you the push and went off with that Scotch nurse. Yes, but I didn't know that when I said goodbye to Tom, did I? Personally, I think it was a wonderful and noble thing what Lou did. What? Well, I bet he secretly knew that he weren't going to get better in a hurry, will it? So he pretends he's met someone else so that you go off him and meet someone new while you're still a young woman with childbearing hips. Aye? I read that. Oh, that's nice, isn't it? Yeah, lovely. I just wish it hadn't all ended like this, that's all. In a way, I'm glad. Why? Thought you liked Lou. I did, it's just... Well, I never used to see you except at work. We was always going out and having a lark before you met Lou. All right, well, we'll go out and have a lark one night next week, eh? Well, not Tuesday, cos I'm washing my hair Tuesday. Why has it got to be Tuesday? Hello, Mags. Me and Dennis cycled all the way to Fairlock. Oh, yeah, what's that there, then? It's nothing much, but we didn't know till we got there, did we? Hello, Stanley. Oh, hello, Veronica. How's your eye? Well, the Oculus says it can come off next year. What, the eye? Plaster. Stanley's only joking, Veronica. Oh, bloody long way, Fairlock. I've got a mouth like the bottom of a baby's pram. I used to go out for a boy from Fairlock. No, you didn't. Yes, I did. Ronald. Ronald came from Finchley, not Fairlock, and I went out with him. Well, I'll come with you, though. Yeah, you always do. I think I'll go and put my dad's tea on. Oh, don't get upset, Veronica. I'm very hurt, Maggie. Don't be silly. I think she's a bit simple. Do you mind? That's my best friend you're talking about. Yeah, more full uses. Let me give it to you straight from the hip. You ain't gonna get off with any new blokes as long as she's tagging oh, along. Oh, yeah, and what do you know? You're still in short trousers. Oh, I might be getting a pair of longs for Christmas. Anyway, who says I want to get off with any new blokes? Veronica's all right. We've been through thick and thin together. Yeah. You're thin and she's thick. <laughs> <laughs> Are you sure you don't mind? No, how many times I've got to tell you? I like making myself useful. <laughs> well, my Harry, he won't eat hospital food unless I'm there to cut it up for him. Oh, poor little Harry. How old is he then? Oh, I thought Harry was your son. Oh, yeah. Well, he's named after you, Oh. I'll be back by tea time. Yeah, tea. If she plays out like she is now, you can give her a rest. All right, right. I'll see myself. Oh, do you good. mind because of the stairs? Well, I don't know. as a typewriter mechanic, Moon. That's a relief, because this one's buggered. Ought to be in a museum. Yes, splendid, Jeremy. Right, see you for drinks, then. Bye. No, I'm sorry. I've got it. Is it catching? What? Oh, yes, very droll. What I mean is, you are now looking at a prospective Labour Party candidate. So that's what they look like. That's tremendous. <laughs> yes. Oh, the final selection meeting was on Saturday. Well, Luton's a good bet for Labour, eh? Yes, unfortunately, I wasn't chosen at Luton. But, of course, one applies for more than one seat, and I have been chosen to stand for a constituency quite nearby, mid-beds. Majority of 15,497. Why, well, you're falling on your feet. It's a Tory majority. Oh, well, just have to look on it as a bit of a challenge. Yes, well, quite, you know. We've got to start somewhere. It's a, it's a foot on the old ladder, I suppose. And if I acquit myself well in a Tory stronghold... Tomorrow in the world, eh? Well, yes, exactly. So, I saw a, a little dr a drink soiree round here on, uh, on Friday. If you'd like to come, you're very welcome. Great. Would the old man be coming? I know. It's a social political occasion, not a, an office party. Anyway, the old man's in Scotland, thank God, shooting still. Yeah, that'll teach those dockers to join the union. <laughs> yes, quite. So I thought I'd wait till he bagged a brace before breaking the heartwarming news to the reactionary old devil. So, uh, 6.30 Friday night. Lovely. Oh, can I bring my lady friend? Uh... Lady friend? Yeah, Frida Gottlieb, she's my land. Oh, that's what I wanted to talk to you about. It's about the little refugee. Look, I know it's really your old man's case, but they were wondering exactly when he's going to show up. He's not here yet. Well, if he is, he's keeping his head well down. Look, why don't you handle this yourself? Me? It's, it's simple, it's simple. You just telephone the, around the foreign office, you know, threaten a few people. Look on it, it's a bit of a challenge, eh? <laughs> Oh, <laughs> my
Hello? Oh, hello. What is this? This is Lauren. I'm babysitting, only she's a bit upset at the moment. She's missing her mum. Yeah, I am upset. I'm missing my sleep. Do you want a little picky dolly? Pardon? I can't do my work if I'm disturbed during the daytime. Oh. Don't you like babies? Yeah, of course I like babies, but not when they wake me up with screaming and crying and now you're singing. It, it is very important I get my sleep during the daytime. Otherwise, I could become bad temper. Well, even you must have cried when you was a baby. I don't remember. Listen, when Harvey came for the rooms, he told me there were no babies. If I would want babies in the house, disturbing my peace, I could let the room to a family with babies. Well, what about a youngster you're going to let have the empty room downstairs, then? Well, that is different. Yosla is already a mensch. He's already oh. 15 already. Listen. Oh. Well, I'm only trying to do her poor mum a favour next door. Yeah, well, you'll do me a favour and don't do her any more favours. Oh, darling. Ain't you heard it's a season of goodwill? Oh, yes. And what about peace for all men? Come in, Harvey. How do you know it was me? Ah, I recognised your knock. I didn't know you liked soul music. Yeah, there are a lot of things I like you don't yet know about. I know you could earn yourself a nice bit of bunts tinkling the ivories down a bunch of grapes. Now, what does that mean in English? It means... Augment my income by becoming a pub pianist. I don't know why I always let you catch me out. Eric around? No. Good. Harvey, you've been drinking. Celebrating. I have, by my own efforts, found out when your yossel is arriving. You have when? Wednesday. But I, I must call Eric. They banged him on the boat last week. Only the white or wallers forgot to let us know. Find down the business on the blower. Your yossel could be wandering bewildered round the pool of London come Wednesday afternoon. Oh, damn, he can't be there yet. <laughs> Councillor Moon, thank you. <laughs> and we pray to God. But with his terrible experience behind him, Jocelyn Mandelbaum will be surrounded by love and security and will become a full member of our congregation. Hear it! Oh, sorry, force of habit. So, no, Jocelyn. I'm glad to be here, You are cold to be the Medina from where you came. Tell me, Harvey, Mrs. Moon is not well? No, she's fine. Well, I was hoping that she would also come. Yeah, she'll be down in a minute. Oh, good. Tell her, please, that I'm sorry if I upset her. You tell her, Eric. Councillor Moon, we must thank you for your part in bringing Yossela to us. That was my senior partner did most of the work. He's a really intelligent boy, Rabbi. He seems so, but uh, he doesn't have a lot to say for himself. Well, of course not. Imagine how you would feel suddenly to be in a country you don't know with people you hardly remember. But tell me, Rabbi, don't you find him a fine-looking boy? He's certainly got an healthy appetite. Yeah. Yeah, well. <laughs> Mom? You all right? <laughs> Did you hear that? How could I hardly miss it. Do you think we got ghosts? If we have. I'm going to ask for a reduction in the rent. Nein. Nein. Jacob. He must be having a terrible night. He put a wind up us and all. Yes, no. Nein, ich bin's. 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 Josla, it's his Harvey. It's his Harvey. It's all right, Sam. It's only me. Harvey. It's your show. It's your show. I think he'll be all right now. Josla. No. Josla. Ich will nicht kommen. Nein, nein, nein. 
Nein. Nein. Nein. Nein. Nein. Nein. Nein. Nein. Nein. Nein. Nein. Nein. Nein. Nein. Nein. Nein. Nein. Nein. Nein. Nein. Nein. Nein. Nein. Nein. Nein. Nein. Nein. Nein. Nein. Nein. Nein. Nein. Nein. Nein. Nein. Nein. Nein. Nein. Nein. Nein. Nein. Nein. Nein. Nein. Nein. Nein. Nein. Nein. Nein. Nein. You know this is one of our busiest weeks. We should be here in the shop, not swanning off to Tottenham while we're rushed off our feet. Oh, good afternoon, sir. How good may afternoon. I help you? Well, actually, the young lady was showing me a toque just the other morning. Uh, Margaret Chop. <laughs> She'll be here in a moment. <laughs> this gentleman says the other day you showed him something. What? A hat, girl. Never been in here before. What about this one? What are you doing here? You know, it's terribly difficult to judge a hat in vacuo. What are you doing here? Look, would you mind terribly just putting it on, if that's all right? Certainly, Margaret can model the style for you. <laughs> you see, it's for a Christmas present. Oh, lucky lady. That's one of our most exclusive models, inspired by Schiaparelli. It looks very dashing on oh, you. Oh, it's lovely. I'll take it. Thank you, sir. I'll put it in a box. Well, do as you wish. After all, it's your hat. Mine? Merry Christmas, Maggie. Oh, but you can't. I just have. And then, of course, I was adopted yeah, by the Labour right, Party. Of course. Yeah. Silly man. I don't know where Dick gets his staff from. Doesn't know how difficult it is to get your hands on silk. Don't let that man near your suit, Arnold. I won't. Problem is, Pippa, I don't think I'll be very good at kissing babies. Well, don't say I'll never take you anywhere. No, 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 I'm enjoying myself. Richard has some very fine books. Yeah, if he's a proper socialist, he'd queue up down the mobile line, be like everyone else. What's that? Goethe. Who? Oh. Germany's greatest poet. Number crap. Oh, Harvey, he died in 1832. Then I'll give him the benefit of the doubt. Now listen. Den eben wo Begriffe fehlen, da stellt ein Wort zur rechten Zeit sich ein. What does that mean? Hello. Uh, for just when ideas fail, a word comes to uh, save the situation. Must have suffered in translation. No, it's impossible. I think I'm almost certain that was good. Germany's yes. greatest You're poet. Right. Go back on a job. And you read it so beautifully. Oh, thank you very much. Are you German? Well, actually, I'm uh, Austrian from Vienna. Number refill. No, thank you. Hey, you want to watch her? I think she bats from down the side. Ah. You and the lovely Frieda enjoying yourselves? Very yeah. nice. Does Transport Good. House know that you got yourself a flunky? I'm paying your union rates. Mm. What's wrong with you? <laughs> ah, Arnold. Enjoying the cannabis? We may find in the long run that tinned food is a deadlier weapon than a machine gun. Ha ha, very amusing. That sounds like that come out of a book. Of course, Eric Blair. Who? George Orwell. It's a pen name. Oh, I'm with you. But then you're familiar with The Road to Wigan Pier. Well, I haven't travelled much in the north myself. The Road to Wigan Pier <laughs> is a book. Harvey was joking. <laughs> was he really? Oh. Arnold here is chairman of the Henley on Thames constituency Labour Party. Hmm. Really? Another thing Orwell said, as with the Christian religion, the worst advertisement for socialism is its adherence. Here, I hope you realise it's years since I've been skating. Don't worry, I won't let you slip. You better not. We'll stay close to the edge till you get your balance. Oh! oh. I'm sorry. I'm glad he managed to put your friend off tonight. And Veronica, she won't mind. She's a salt of the earth. Good job you didn't come, then. She won't have cracked the ice. Come on, Maggie. Are you all right? I don't know, am I? Come on. Wait for me. I can't do it by myself. It's easy. Just let go of the side. Right. Have you seen the state of that lavvy? Eh? That kid's like a flipping animal. Mum, what time is it? Six o'clock. Oh. <laughs> oh, 
Here, slides. One and six plus eight me a dozen. But I can't get this starter stick. Well, this hairdressing's going to change our lives, Stan. I don't know why I didn't think I got into business myself before. What? Oh, hey, I'm trying to make that a Christmas card. Yeah, your hair could do with a trim. I'll take you down my saloon tomorrow. Most no, of here. What's that? What? Um, this is Yosela. What is? Oh. Hello? Rita. It's a friendly sort. Well, you don't speak no English. Another one of your waifs and strays? No, Eric and Frieda's, really. Oh, so I'd heard. He looks a bit sinful to me. He'll be all right once he's settled down. Hey! Look, leave him, Rita. I'll replace it. Thing is, what he really needs is some friends of his own age. He's much older than Stan. Near enough. Well, you've got to involve everyone in your little schemes, haven't you? I thought Stanley could take him out for a game of football or something. Do I have to? He's a bit big. I'll do it for your dad, eh? All right, then. We'll go down the way, see if the lads are there. You can go and go. What's his name again? Yossela. That's a stupid name. I'll call him George. Why? After George Swindon, the Arsenal goalie, of course. Of course. George Swindon? Yeah? George Swindon? Oh, come on, George. God, you must fancy her something rotten. What do you mean? I'm trying to help. Why, it's nothing to do with me. I'll have got my own fish to fry. I oh, know, you've got yourself a new bloke and all. Leo? Maggie's governor. That's right. Bit cut grass for you, innit? Oh, you have got a very low opinion of me, Harvey. We've got a lot in common. Fellow business associates. He's been helping me dress my windows. Never heard it called that before. So how's your barbershop coming along? It is a hairdressing saloon, if you don't mind. Hey, I'm proud of you, girl. Mm. I always knew you had it in you to be a boss. <laughs> you never did, did you, Alf? Oh, Captain Ordinary and Reserves, did you? <laughs> Once. What's up, son? Hey, George is off his rocker. You ain't hurt, are you? No, but the first time I kicked the football at him, he pulled out his knife and stabbed it to death. He's balmy. He carries a blade. Don't you never bring him in this house again, Harvey. He could murder someone. He's probably only frightened. What, the football? But don't worry, son. I'll get you a new bladder. Where's Yossler now? Up a tree. This is the stretch right now. You're not here. paid to turn this establishment into Santa's grotto, oh, you know. Don't be such an old fuddy duddy, Mr. Ryder. We have Master Richard's permission. Only because Mr. Quentin is doing an indecent exposure in Littlehampton. Morning, all! Oh, morning, morning, Master morning. Richard. Richard. You seem in our old spirits. Well, why not? It's a lovely day. Christmas is coming. The goose is getting fat. Something, something in the blind man's hat. <laughs> not that I approve of the tawdry sentimentalism that's attached itself to what should be a, an austere religious occasion. I quite agree. Mm. Do you want me to take decorations down there? Yeah? Certainly not. By the by, Harvey, you made quite an impression on Friday night, you know. Oh, yes, my friends were most impressed. Quoting Orwell from memory, good lord. Well, I do dip in the old book occasionally. <laughs> yes. Oh, um, Sprake, could you um, come to my room? Oh. Take a letter. Oh, dear. I'll leave it to you then, Harvey. All right. You're well in there, aren't you? Hey? You and Master Richard. How dare he invite you to his party? You're just a junior clerk. It's because I'm his mate, that's why. Exactly. Exactly. You... You're a bloody communist cell, you two. You've been at the bowl. I was working for this practice before Master Richard even qualified. When Mr Gunn was alive, you wouldn't have been employed as the office cleaner. Mr Gunn... Would have had me shot, eh? You just wait till Mr Quentin gets back, that's all. And a tell tales. Now, I'm going to tell it to your face. I hate you, Moon. Oh, Merry Christmas. You come in here from some tin pot factory, a known union rabble rouser. You suck up to Master Richard, you, you plot against me behind my back. You're off your bloody coconut, mate. Life's no better than a common tie. Hey, you leave Rita out of and it. And a capital, you're knocking about with a bloody German. Are you trying to get me to stick one on you? Go on, are you? Are you? Are you? Go on. That's all your sort's any good for, isn't it? Fifteen years. I never get invited to any of their little cocktail parties. Oh, for Christ's sake, then. 
It's a bloody awful pot. I wish you had bleeding gone instead of me. I had me serving the drinks. I mean, a bunch of snots all trying to top each other, all standing around pretending there's something they ain't. I mean, we knocked it off at nine o'clock, went down a pub. You didn't? Yeah. I mean, your trouble, mate, is you don't think highly enough of yourself. Well, how would you feel? you being been ousted by a middle-aged junior. I'd have more sense. If I'd your now out, I'd be laughing. They owe me a week's holiday. We were going to go down to me mother-in-law's in Lyme Regis for Christmas, but I was afraid you'd be doing my job when I got back. Me? Hey, ah, this office would grind to an halt without you. That's what Dick told me. He said that? Yeah, sure as my name's Harvey Moon. He says managing clerks of your calibre are as rare as hen's teeth. Well, uh... I mean, you know this office better than the Elliots do. They could do without me easy. But I need you. Yes. Yeah, yeah, yes. Look, uh... I'm sorry if I've been a bit hard on you. It's all right. Glad we cleared the air. Means we can commence 1947 as we mean to go on, eh? Exactly. Right, uh, uh, you better finish clearing out the stationery cupboard. And that duplicator's still playing up. Oh, and there's some briefs to run over to the Middle Temple. Uh, if you'd be so kind. Harvey? When I've finished hanging the decorations, Geoffrey. Blimey. No wonder Father Christmas comes down the chimney. And what you'll need, Violet, is a nice cup of tea. Ah. What, what, what is it? What's going on? I've had a bone to pick with you. Can't it be picked later? No, it bloody well can't. Well, just a minute. What is it? I'll tell you what it is. That kid of yours has been up to my flat and pinched all my flipping food. Yossela? Yes, Yossela. Have a good mind to call the police. Can I lend your phone? Mrs Moon, we mustn't be hasty. How... You sure you haven't mislaid? I had just bought an extra for Christmas. I mean, a whole half pound of cheese. Don't just disappear. I know we've got mice, but they ain't got flipping hand carts. But well, how can you be sure it was Yossela? Cos the little buggers pinched everything by me baiting. Josla, du gehst uns auf den Nerven. If you can't control him, he ought to be put away. Look, we'll replace whatever he has taken, Miss. And you wouldn't get that piano locked up at all. Josla, hör schon auf mit dieser Klimperei. Come in, he's not normal. And about time at all. Is everything all right? No, it's not all right. And I hope you don't want your tea, cos he's had it. And tomorrow's, and the next day's. That's it, we will replace it. Somebody tell me what's going on. He's broke into our home and pinched all our food. Actually, he ate it. Yes, pinched sir. it or ate it. It's still gone, in it? All of it? All except the bacon. Stands to reason. Is that all you've got to say? No. Anyone lend us a couple of eggs? Ah, oh, you think it's funny, do you? Oh, I'm sorry, Mum. Must have been quite a shock. Of course, you must eat with us tonight. I think you've got enough on your plate. Oh, hello. She's not in. Who? Oh, my sister. Oh. Shut that bloody door, will you? It's freezing. Don't swear, Stanley. All right, if I come in and wait, then? Yeah. It'll be a long one, though. She's gone to Tom's office party. She said she weren't going. Well, she is. I thought she was going out with me tonight. Oh, yeah, and what gave you that idea? Maggie is my best friend. Yeah, that's why she lets you play gooseberry. Hey, Look, I heard how you ruined her date down the ice rink, bruised your bum and had to be taken home in a taxi. Just sit down if you want. <laughs> no, you can't, can you? Did she say that I ruined her date? Look, ain't you heard? Freeze a crowd. Blimey. One's a crowd when you're around. That's an horrible thing to say, Stanley. Just because I've got a lazy eye. Yeah, you've got a lazy brain and all. I mean, how would you like it if you was going out with a decent bloke and people kept tagging along with you all the time? I don't know. Never been out for a decent bloke. No surprise. You ain't God's gift, are you? That's a wicked thing to say, Stanley. I do my best, you know. 
Oh, yeah. When was the last time you had a proper hairdo? What's wrong with my Veronica Lake? Well, for a start, it don't cover enough of your face. My brother knew Freud quite well in Vienna. Your brother the doctor? No, my brother the baker. Freud always used to drop into Eric's shop on his way home from the institute. He always brought a plaited loaf. And tried to straighten it out. <laughs> that, that, that's funny. <laughs> Do me best. So you really think and do Yoss look good this year, trick cyclist? A what? Harvey, you've moved again, please. Mum up and reckons that you two ought to have your heads ever putting up with him. Ah, yes, she may be right, but he's all we've got left. His mother and I went to school together. I'll keep telling you she's got my glasses, but uh... Well, you seem to be able to control him. I think he fancies you. Oh, Harvey, don't be ridiculous. He's only 15. So, when I was 15, I fancied everything that moved. And now? Well, now I'm a bit more discerning. Uh, uh, uh. How am I shaping up? Well, it's difficult to do very much by this light. I am not happy with your nose. Not all that happy with it myself. No, I mean my nose. Eh? Yeah, the, the nose in the painting. <laughs> oh, that's it. That's enough for today. The light in here is just not bright enough for painting. Well, I thought it was quite bright. Oh, Harvey, you make me laugh so much. It's been a long time since any man has done that. Really? How long has it been since you made love with a woman? If you let the paint dry and then brushes, it will spoil them. I like your nose. You know? It's a good nose. A Roman nose. What, roaming all over my face? Harvey, sometimes it's just not necessary to make... Oh, you're still Oh, Christ, stop. Do you want to go after him, or...? No. He'll be all right. Maybe next time he'll knock. Oh, hello, Mrs Beasley. Mm, yeah, I'm sorry, we'd love to squeeze you in, but I'm afraid Kitty's not here. She's had to go home with a funny tummy. Would, uh, would tomorrow be convenient? Hello? Happy Christmas to you and all. Does Kitty normally take three hours for lunch? It has been known. That's the third regular we've had to put off today. Hello, Mrs. Moon. Oh, hello, Veronica. If you're looking for Maggie, I'm no, afraid she's... No, she's just on me way from the factory. You don't live anywhere near here. I know, Mrs. Moon. You do people's hair, don't you? You don't miss a trick, do you, Veronica? Only it's my factory knees up to her. I want to look my best, you know. Yeah, well, there is always room for improvement. That's what your Stanley said. Oh, really? <laughs> so I was wondering if you could do something with me here. Yeah, well, I'd love to help you out, love, but I'm afraid Kitty's been called away. Oh, I can't. Yeah, I don't mind having a go. You? You're still an improver. No, I'm a stylist. I've got my certificate, but Kitty only lets me shampoo. Ah, oh, well, there you are, Veronica. You will go to the ball. <laughs> now then, Janice, what style did you have in mind? I thought you'd let down. Hello, Mum. Face is familiar, can't remember the name. Hey, this will chuff you, Pink. I'm going to make Mount Batten, Viceroy of India, turn up for the book, eh? Your bed weren't slept in last night. So? Could have got up early, made it before I went to yeah, work? Yeah, you could have. All right. So, I did. Fall asleep downstairs. Well, I'm pushing 38. You want to try sleeping on that thing? What you don't seem to realise is that while you're down there having a high old time with her, I'm up here on my own, no one to talk to, nothing to eat, and a flaming nut around the house. What do you want me to do about it? I've got my own life to lead. Oh, pardon me for living. I tell you what, tomorrow morning I'll try not to wake up. They'll solve all your problems. I think I like it. Oh, no, it's not finished yet. I've got to comb it out. Oh. Sorry, I'm a bit late back, mate. You know what it's like, Christmas lunch for the old sailors. 
I had to turn three of your regulars away. Oh, not to worry. It's only once a year. What's Janice doing? What's it look like? Well, she's not ready for styling. Well, at least she's here. At least she puts in a full day's work. Oh, what's that supposed to mean? Oh, plenty of brandy and the old plump pudding, eh? Oh. I'm surprised you bothered to come back, love. We've got to shut up shop in ten minutes. Is it still my salon, you know? Our salon. Oh, I never knew you took life so serious, really. Yeah, well, I do when it's my money involved. Oh, that reminds me. I'm standing around at lunchtime. What are you doing? I'm a bit short. Look, you know you can't take money out the till without making a note of it first. I wouldn't mind if you had a little dip if you was a bit short. God, we're running a business here, Kitty, not a Christmas club. <sighs> if I'd have known you were so po-faced about everything, I'd never have let you in this business. Let me? Yeah, without me, you'd be in Kiri Street. Well, I might be better off than all. At least I wouldn't have you on me bloody back. I'm a top stylist. Oh, yeah, yeah, when you're here. I could earn as much money out west without all these headaches. Yeah, but then you wouldn't be able to put your hand in the till whenever you wanted to, would you? You've got an evil tongue, Rita. It was a big mistake going in with you. If I had the money, I'd buy you out. No, I've got a better idea. I'll buy you out. You? Well, then we do the styling. Janice. Right. Find me out. I'm sure one of your fancy men will put up the money. And then three months later, you'll be bust. Janice. Mrs Moon. How do I look? Like a million dollars. <laughs> oh, it's lovely. <laughs> I reckon she's got some back teeth coming through. Oh, come on, Mum. You've got to start talking to me sometime. I mean, Creed is very sympathetic, but Eric wants to keep them rooms for his lot. He won't budge. It is their house. Hello, Nan. Hello, love. Oh, is that the baby? No, it's Stanley Matthews. Isn't she lovely? Oh, much prettier than Stanley was as a baby. <laughs> boys ain't supposed to be pretty. Well, don't worry, you ain't. Your nan was going to make a cup of tea. Ask him if he wants one. Oh, it's like that, is it? Two sugars. He nicked the sugar. <laughs> Yosla. And that's to name from... No, that's to name from me. And that's to name from Maggie. And that's to Dad from me. And that's from me to you, Dad. Yeah, Dad. Shut up. Well, where's our presents then, Dad? It's not Christmas yet. They ain't wrapped. What, you mean you ain't bought any yet? They'll be there. Don't worry. Who's this for, then? They put that down. It's not for you. Oh, you've bought one, then, have you? Mum. Nan. What? Oh, somebody done a pongy poo, then. <sighs> Do you want to help me change her, Maggie? Oh, yes, please. Oh, I'll never understand women. Are you sure it was him? Who else? A burglar, perhaps. But there's nobody missing except Jocelyn. Look what he's done to Harvey's portrait. I know it was him. He's jealous of us. Why should he be jealous? I should know. Stanley, the baby will catch a death of cold. Better than us be a guess. You shut the window. There you go. Here, son, get rid of that. Thanks. Oh, you're just in time for tea. No, thank you. I just wanted to find out if anyone here has seen Yosla. No, I ain't. Not since he stabbed my football to death. He's raving mad. He's missing. Good riddance. Where? If we knew where, he wouldn't be missing. Harvey, he's, um... Slashed your portrait. No. Little bleed is handy with a knife. Well, Eric and I are going out to look for him. Oh, can I come? I've got a pathfinder's badge and a compass, ain't I, sis? And I'm St John's ambulance trained. I'll get me coat. Thanks, honey. Cool, it's like a posse in the western, isn't it? Bags on what belong Cassidy. Will somebody shut that window? Are you still asleep, my little darling? <laughs> now, i just got to go down the levee. Now, don't you wake up till I get back, will you?
I think you'd better call the police, Eric. He could die out there of exposure tonight. Mm, Harvey, he survived Auschwitz. He should survive Clapton Common. If he'd have been on Clapton Common, we'd have found him. Well, I think you've had enough excitement for one day. You two had better get home. Can I have a drink first? <laughs> Thank God you come! We ain't found him, Mum. No, that's because he ain't gone nowhere. What? Yeah. Bloody hell. I saw he must have been in the cellar. Poor sod. Oh, you frightened the life out of me. Did he pull his knife on you, man? No, no, I think he was more scared than I was. Oh, the boy is very disturbed. He needs special care. No, he needs lots of love. That's what he needs. He's just a big kid. That's me, can do it. What's the love? Hey. Come on, Sally. Yeah, no, no, no. Calm down. Come on. Come on. Come on. Wait, 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 wait. Harvey, Harvey. Aber wir haben dich doch lieb, Josle. Du hast es doch gut hier. Den hast du lieb, den. What's he saying? The boy thinks that Frida doesn't love him. He's got a crush on Freedom. Natürlich habe ich den Harvey lieb, aber dich habe ich auch lieb. Mensch, Oh, Freda, you said your name, Dad. Jacob What's she talking about? She's telling Joshua that she likes your father. I always thought Lee meant love, like in the Andrew sister song. <laughs> he hasn't put three words together since he arrived. Now no one else can get a word in. Freda, will nicht hier bleiben. You understand now, Eric, what you must do. Yeah, of course. Well, someone tell us what's going on. Are we going to get a night school for German lessons? Oh, we've been so stupid. He also needs to be in Palestine. He wants to be with the others from the camp, you know? People who've been through the same as him. They're the only ones he really trusts, cares for. Well, are we going to get him there? I'll talk to the rabbi. Oh, God, who do we know in the boat? I know someone. This way. Are you sure he can be trusted? Well, I hope so. He's going out with my daughter. Then why is he not here? Eric, calm down. Get it back to Palestine. Yeah, Yosla, yeah. I think he's coming. Mr. Chavan? Rabbi, in there. Hello. You're late. Mr. Godley, it doesn't matter. He's here now. Harvey Moon, Maggie's father. How do you do, sir? Very grateful. Anything I can do for Maggie? As long as you ain't taking no risks. No, it's fine. Look, I don't mean to interrupt or anything, but uh, don't we have to catch the tide? Which one is our intrepid mariner? Here. Yes. Here, this is Josler. I'm his guardian. Josler erst ein Freund. I'm sorry. The ship sails from Marseille in an hour. Tell him that if anyone asks, he is second assistant cook. Ja. Das Schiff fährt in eine Stunde ab nach Marseille. Ja. Wenn jemand fragt, du bist der Küchenjunge. Do you know what the drill is at Marseille? Yeah. He'll be met by friends. He's got friends there? There are French Zionists, too. Oh, Rabbi, we can't thank you enough. Well, you could always try coming to the synagogue once in a while. Yeah, uh, oh, Mr. Chauvin, you must let me... Oh, please, it's not necessary. I've incurred no expense. 
You'd better say his goodbyes now, and I'll take him through to meet the ship's master. Yes, sir. God segne dich, Josla. Ja. Hm? Ja. Josla. Schreib so bald wie möglich und lass uns wissen, wie es geht. Good luck, Josla. Dankeschön. Thank you, Harvey. In Palestine, call me. George Swindon, Mandelbaum. I'm dreaming of a white woman, just like the one we used to know. Where the Tree tops glisten <clears throat> and children listen to hear the sleigh bells in the snap. Oh, I'm frightening the life out of me. I'm sorry. Oh, thank you. You like your new room? <laughs> oh, it's lovely. Ah, you made it look very nice. Thank you. And uh, Harvey says you're not going to charge us any extra rent. How could I? I tell you, you are very lucky to have such a family. Yes, I know. Well, you wouldn't be so bad yourself if you smile once in a blue moon. <laughs> there. That didn't hurt, did it? No. i leave you to settle it. All right. Oh, hey, uh, before you go, there's, uh, there's one thing I've always wanted to know. What are all these little things on all your doors? Oh, that is a mezuzah. Inside is a tiny piece of paper. Oh, like a Christmas cracker? No, no, with a prayer, not a joke. Oh. And now I would like to ask you something. What is this? Oh, that's an excuse. Oh. To give people a kiss at Christmas. <laughs> but I don't want you getting no ideas. No, I think it is your son and my sister who are getting the ideas. Oh, they don't need no mistletoe. <laughs>